zomerweekend. Nog vanavond hier bij Winterco bij deze gasten. Uh, we beginnen terug aan het, uh, het seizoen hier bij deze gasten. We hebben uh, al zijn pet op van projecten. We gaan giganten, grotische projecten uh, in, uh, even in de buurt met alle organisaties. Zijn op, op 25 mei, je hebt er al in de agenda. Uh, dat gaat een open luchtspectakel zijn. Maar zo hebben we nog vele andere projecten. We hebben ook gewerkt bij de Comité aan de Directors, die uh, dan hier doorgaat onder de leiding van Marie. En nog veel andere mensen te doen. Dus kom op 1 november ook naar hier. En vooral dat we onze programmatie te gaan. Want vanaf vanavond hebben we elke vrijdag en zaterdag uh, verschillende theaters en uh, muziekensembles, concerten en dergelijke. Die uh, hier het feest brengen en uh, ons mooi laten verwonderen. Dat is een stuk. Dus uh, kijk vanaf, de deur is open. Iedereen kan heel de avond gewoon in en aanlopen. We hebben vanavond een muzikaal programma op jullie samengesteld. Morgen hebben we een cabaretprogramma, maar eh, vanavond starten we met een show van twee fantastische kerels. Die, eh, het is Matt Clark uit de buurt, die, die kwam binnenwaaien en die zei, Guus, red een buitenkant. Eh, die gasten zijn hier, die zijn een kleine toer naar toe eh, in Europa. Het is een zet op de kamer van de Fransman. En eh, dat klinkt als een goede loon. Dat is echt, maar het is, eh, het is wel een goed concept. En ze brengen hier samen ons hebben een klein pikje gemaakt, eh, waarmee dat ze kleine dingen doen. En ze willen ons eigenlijk allemaal aanzetten om eh, nu de kans te krijgen ze te zien, want volgend jaar, eh, als ik groot heb, zal het enkel nog maar op veel groter bootje zijn. <lacht> Zo is mijn afgetaald. Dus wij dachten, we gaan niet doen. Ja, we zijn het aan het Maar we gaan het doen. Het is dus het voorprogramma voor vanavond. Geef ze een groot applaus. Eon de Muk! I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Thank you. Hope it stays open after this. I want to stretch limousine with no tires. Pulled by a boardroom of white guys with ties. And the one at the front has an old rusty gun and is broken. He just waves it in the air for fun. Blam, blam, blam. With this big hunk of metal just grinding along. I'm not even in it. I'm just walking behind to leave room for all the other pretty creatures to ride. I'm happy to walk. I've got some things on my mind. Inside the back windscreens, a pangolin grinning with a look on its face like it wasn't me. And the driver's a monkey dropping banana skins in the engine with the fresh lemon squeeze like shit, this citrus is just the type of juice we need. And there's no windscreen. So all the insects just pull in. There's no motor running, the machine is still humming, and the party inside is buzzing. And all in the back, all up in the seats, the cows and the sheep and the rest of the meat. Horses, of course, chickens and goats, all laughing from deep in the blood of their throats. No windows, so the smell is mostly free flow. I can't really see, but it seems to me though that there's no real room for the pigs. I don't know. Maybe they get in if they're cute. And anyway, there's something big banging back in the boots. And all these buggers are throwing their food out the front. Throwing up, chucking up, chucking their junk. Throwing seed, throwing stone, throwing pips. And all sorts of shits at their heads in the harnesses. Throwing animal feed from the feedlot. Throwing slop from the truck. Throwing mud, throwing muck, throwing hay. It's enough of that, 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 that. That's all from me tonight. Woo!
right. Man's done the right to play him right. But the stakes that he claims just don't fit quite right. Over left, see him marching in step. Over bones, over stones, over blood that's his own. And the blood is still wet. And that's as fresh as it gets. From the head, from the neck, from the chest. That's as hot as it gets. So play this to his, says the artery empties and lets. Supreme. Supreme is not supreme. Versace is not supreme. Nike is not supreme. Gucci is not supreme. Yves Saint Laurent is not supreme. Your Rolex is not supreme. Ferrari is not supreme. Your Nespresso machine is not supreme. Your cruise ship is not supreme. Your cargo ship is not supreme. Your train is not supreme, your truck transport is not supreme, the jester is just another king, the king is just supreme conditioning, your border wall is not supreme, your military base is not supreme, that's it, that's all for me, except that, except that your secret hideout is not supreme, your jungle compound is not supreme, your Sanskrit is not supreme, your sticker bomb is not supreme, your street art stencil is not supreme, your stylish signature is not supreme. Your streaming service is not supreme. Your media house is not supreme. TikTok is not supreme. Discord is not supreme. Steam is not supreme. Your old school entry with flyers only party is not supreme. Your device free life is not supreme. You can sell it at a high price, but it's not supreme. Your six pack is not supreme. Hold up a golden cup, but it's not supreme. Sip a crystal chalice, but it's not supreme. Your step made in chips is not supreme. songs like voices can drone so maybe those drones could have a voice like a poetry slam is really a defense council with a cash bar and a scorecard are you gonna fly your stanza like some sort of a standard are you gonna slingshot sarcasm at a tank and hope that the right amount of refined wit will actually dent it poetry can't change the world I said I explained have you got a pen with enough of a point to pop the balloon of best business practice? Have you got a pen with enough of a point to pop, pop, to puncture plastic? Have you got a pen with enough of a point to pierce the skin of the average politician? Poetry can't change the world. I said, 
Have you got paper with enough grain to feed the poor? Have you got people with enough brain to read the score and to play their part? Yeah, maybe that's where it starts. Because I said, poetry can't change the world. And I upset them. But their response was straighter than any steeple. They said, people can change the world. So maybe the poetry can change the people. can change the people. People can change the world. Maybe the poetry can change the people. Most of them can't hear. The science may be 
confusing, but this sound is clear. So I'm fighting for my right to speak. Because that's life, right? That's all we have left, right? Because pretty soon there'll be none left, right? For my right to speak. Try to take away that right, and I'll defend with my left. Try to take away my right to speak, and I'll rest my left by my cheek, defending my right with my left, swinging southpaw at your jaw. Using my right to defend, attacking with what's left, swinging southpaw at your jaw. Right swing, left swing, dodge right, dodge left, right wing, left wing, right swing, left swing, dodge right, dodge left, right wing, left wing. Then we sit in the center, send a solid shot to your center, straight to your gut, then drop you with an uppercut. No left swing, no right swing, straight to the guts, and drop with an uppercut. Won't be no left or right when I speak. When I'm fighting for my right to speak, when I'm writing, when I fight to speak, when all that left is my right to speak won't be no left or right when I speak not a devil me I'm too young I haven't developed a forked tongue I'm defending what rights are left the right to speak straight trust what I'm spitting because it starts with the right things written and we return to the right to recite what we like to write what we like reciting reciting what we like writing writing wrongs by reciting the right writing Cause that's life, right? Fighting for my rights. Fighting for what I write. Fighting for what's right. That's all we have left, right? Pretty soon there's gonna be none left, right? Left, right? South Africa, Durban, my city, and uh, the north of France, Laval, all over France. Been sending music back and forth and making things together. And eventually, Charles introduced me to this beast, showed me how he tames it, and said, do you think we could work together? And uh, yeah, you've seen what he can do, so I didn't want to argue with him. <laughs> yeah, I'll do my best, brother. So uh, Eon the Mod really started with these next two pieces. Um, they were pieces that we've been working on individually together, and then we brought them together into this set. And uh, this is one of those ones that you can find us on the interweb, out there on the video, on the YouTube, you can find these pieces. But this is where it really all started with us. You guys good? Everybody good? Yeah! Beautiful. Oh, I'm getting it. <laughs> Two empty shoes and a tree. I see, in the city, I see these two empty shoes and this tree. No sign of anybody. So what happened to the two feet, thinks me, trying to solve this nobody mystery. What happened to the two feet from these two empty shoes next to this tree, thinks me, trying to solve this nobody mystery. Must be something to do with the tree, thinks me out loud. Let me spin a little imagining, flip a little fantasy, and presume that this man was that man, but now that man 
is this true? How came this to be? How this came to be, thinks me, still following that fantasy flip. I mean, I can see why a man would want to be a tree. Guilt-free, giving back constantly to the community, soil to the sky, deep roots, strong core, long reach, past, present, and future, all balanced in one body, soil to the sky, giving and taking equally, absorb and emit, and absorb, and emit and absorb and emit life giving, life taking, living equality, living equally, living guilt free. Man wants to be a tree, obviously, man. But how? How? Two empty shoes in a tree I see in the city, it's still a mystery to me. How? Wow, man wants to be a tree, obviously living guilt free, obviously giving back to the community, obviously lending a helping hand, obviously lending a hand, obviously it was a palm tree. Who wouldn't want to be a tree? But how? How? Maybe he just started small. Like he just started with the leaf. Just be the leaf. Maybe. Maybe he just started small. Like just start with the leaves. Maybe. Just be the leaves. Maybe. Two empty shoes and a tree still a mystery to me. Maybe we just start small. Maybe we just start with the leaf. Just be the leaf. Be the leaf. Maybe. Just be the leaves. Start with the leaves. Just be the leaves. Just be leaves. Just Believe, maybe. We just believe. Maybe we just believe. Woo. I'm just trying to maintain, man. But the pressures are dominant, man. The pressure is a mountain. And man is on the face of the cliff trying to keep his grip. One slip and it's off the lip. Loose grip and you lose face to face. The loose lips whose faces see you slip from the grip of graces they maintain. I'm just trying to maintain, man. But the pressures of dominant, most prominent, right there around the edges where the left is a sharp line between now and when, man. The only difference between eternal and infinite existence is mathematics. So making two and two equal you for a time means it's time for you, not no one else. You, no one else. And if it's all you and no one else, then it is infinite and it needs no maintenance, but it needs mathematics. And my maths is no good, man. Eternity is infinity without the maths. So there's no two and two for you, there's just you. And just you is more man, and more man is just you, man. I'm trying to maintain, I'm just trying to maintain, man. Eternity is he turned to me to see more. So we know more what we're maintaining for. No bank, no beast. We withdraw war and bank on peace. True wealth increase. 
true health increase. Preach? No, no, no. Don't make me a minister. People got enough preachers and politicians, enough pulpits, enough podiums. We're just reaching. No speeching, no preaching. We're just reaching. Not up, not down, but out. We're just speaking to reach. Not up, not down, but out. Speaking to reach out. To try to maintain man. We're trying to maintain man. We're trying to maintain man. We're just trying to maintain man. afterwards if you're interested at all in the poetry and the lyrics in the machine we just released our first recording together this is very much like the first time we're doing this together so thank you very much guys you know we've tried it out in a couple places but this is like the first time we are doing it you know what i mean you can say you were there when we did it yo so uh, the next piece is kind of like we, we put together four tracks on an EP. It's out there in the interweb. You can find it. We've also got some cards afterwards. I'll give it to you at the album. You can hear it. And um, uh, the EP is called More Than Machinery. It's called the More Than Machinery EP. And this is the, the title track. It's called Jimmy. And uh, this one we, we really want to, yeah. This is for everybody. <laughs> Sorry, anybody here called Jimmy. One no called Jimmy, right? Because if it isn't, it's especially for you, Jimmy. We knew you would be here tonight. Yeah. Mom? Jimmy broke the algorithm. Jimmy broke the algorithm. He's been telling it all sorts of lies again. Don't worry, one day he'll get paid to do it. If it's a pain, you'll learn to push through it. The pain lets us know which drugs are best. Are you ready? Here goes. We push you out of the nest so you can learn to survive on your own. Just like no other animal we know, except the predators. Even though we're made to come together, it seems the way we're grown doesn't work in the world. It only works in the wild. So when you're gonna grow up, child, there's a whole world out there waiting if you can stay alive. I put my money on that kid that knows his place. The one that learned to walk so he can run the race. We stopped him dreaming of flying, now he's thinking of jumping. We'll make him amount to something. Happy with the cost if we're not doing the counting. If he's gonna count it all, he best count his blessings. I put my money on him learning a lesson. You're blessed, best remember when I was your age, we never had, we never had, we never had. So don't be thinking you could ever have anything more than what we never had, we never had, we never had. We just hustled so you could have. So what you got, that's what you get, that's that. The last thing we want is anybody asking. So take your questions and don't test the algorithm. Jimmy's not a bad kid, really. Jimmy's just a bad kid, no. Jimmy's not a bad kid, really. Jimmy's just a bad kid, no. Jimmy's not a bad kid, really. He just asks too many funny questions. Makes it hard to learn him a lesson. Now he's gone and broken the algorithm. When you gonna grow up, Jimmy? Jimmy's not a bad kid, really. When you gonna wake up, Jimmy? Jimmy's not a bad kid, really. Jimmy's not a bad kid, really. He just asks too many funny questions. Like, why is the kid in the story always called Jimmy? Well, algorithmically speaking, the writers were usually doing all the winning, so we just went with whatever they were writing, and they liked the name, and they ran the game, so we just went with it, so now the name remains, like an ink, or a wine, or a blood stain. See, some names come with some comfort, but not that comfort like rest, more like the comfort of conquest, of knowing that you know what's best for the rest, so you put the kids to bed with the sense that they're blessed, or they're bloody well, better be content regardless, because we haven't got time for any nonsense down at the factory, where we make all the pretty little progress, all the flags and the textbooks and the ordinance and all the other well-ordered ornaments of dominance. Understand when it comes to stories at bedtime, we're tired. We need a name we can remember. And Jimmy works fine. See, we never knew a, a Juma, a Jabu, or a Jamal. It was 
just James like the king or Jim to us all. Jimmy was really the easiest. Imagine if they called him Justice. Imagine if they called him Justice. Couldn't we tell the story with Justice in? Want to go all the way back to the beginning? Couldn't we rewrite all the stories with Justice in? Imagine if they called him Justice. Couldn't we tell the story with Justice in? You want to go all the way back to the beginning? Couldn't we rewrite all the stories with Justice in? Jimmy broke the algorithm. Tonight, come and talk to us afterwards. We'll meet up, introduce, tell you what it's all about, and uh, we're making big plans to be back next year. So you can tell everybody, and you can tell us that if you dig it, that you want us back, and we will be back. I promise you. <laughs> so we're just going to finish with a couple more pieces from the EP, which you can get is out there. It's streaming the More Than Machinery EP. We've got some context for you tonight, how you can find it, whatever. There's a piece called Velvet. For the living, for the stories of the smoke, we dance. We're cool with the heat, 
It's never been enough to just hold up our hands to it. So we move to it and we jump through it. Vibrate, feel the tribe come alive to it. Be birthed with the yearn for the burning. Take it back to the warmth of a womb and further into the quest for the core of it all. Molten moon, fluid of the fire. Lift up your spirits where the smoke rise higher. Deep breathe in that smoke within. Bring the fire in, light it up. There's a reason we light it up. Velvet whiskey smoke. Velvet whiskey. 
so much. I read some poetry for you now. Not everybody does this. You remember this? This is an old school iPad. Yeah? You remember these things? They're dangerous. That's why you can't get them anymore because you can hurt yourself. You do this, you operate this thing without knowing how it works, you can damage yourself. Exactly, exactly, my man. <laughs> so good to be in the company of great people. That's you guys. I dig dirt. I dig dirt. The type of dirt I dig is cool. The type of dirt I dig is solid and simple enough to let a spade be a spade. I dig dirt that shifts easily. That kind of dirt is generally cool. Some dirt is for digging in. Some dirt is just for digging. Some dirt is for digging. Some dirt is for digging in. Some dirt is for burying in. Some dirt is dangerous with memory. It's full of forget-me-nots. Some dirt is dust. Just dust to other dust. Just the dirt in between those forget-me-not spots. I think dirt that lets me choose how best to dig it. I think dirt that doesn't dictate how it must be dug. Dirt that doesn't dictate. That type of dirt has potential. And if you acknowledge its potential, all of its possibilities, you are allowed to access any and all that you accept. This is dirt that gives back. Dirt that will ultimately take all that you are, one way or another. Dirt that accepts any and all of you, and in its own way, it gives back. I dig dirt. I dig dirt that gives back by shifting as necessary by sharing all that it is and all that it is, by offering you an earth to birth in, a birth to earth in, this is worthy dirt. Earth that is worthy. Dirt that is worthy. This is dirt that deserves to be done. And recognizing the worth of this dirt, you deserve to dig it. I dig dirt.
Step up, bro.